Whoa, the wind is fine. Much. Okay, good day, guys. Welcome to today on Princess Anne TV. And guys, a lot of things have happened in this last, uh, I'll say, few days. And number one, I got my super. Uh, I did my super check right some days ago, and it was successful. Glory to God. And uh, <laughs> like, I'm really happy, you know. Just starting. I can remember when I really wanted to start and it was like, wait, I just needed 30 hours and at the point I was like, oh, I just needed 40 hours. At the point I was like, God, please let me get my PPL. At the point I was like, oh God, can I just finish my hour beauties? At the point I was like, Lord, will this PPL ever come? <laughs> I'm serious. It's not an easy journey. It has not been an easy journey. That's the truth about it. But I'm grateful to God that he has been at every stage of the journey and grateful to my instructors, to my friends, my classmates. You see, we always need support from like every single corner, guys. And seriously, there's one thing I've begun to understand that you can't do anything alone. In fact, you can't achieve great heights alone. You need the help of a lot of people to make sure you are a success. So guys, I'm really happy. I got my CPL, that's one part of it. But today, I want to discuss with you something different because somebody asked me a question and the person was like, beards, like keeping up beards. I'm not a guy, so I obviously don't have beards, but you know, I want to talk about this based on the experience I've seen as far as people around me and everything. The person asked, is beard, will beards be a problem for the evaluation exam? And it's quite a dice question, but I'm going to try my best to tell you what I think, my own perspective, because like I always tell you, I give you my perspective as a student pilot. I'm not a staff, I'm not a I'm not part of people conducting the exam, but I'll just tell you what I think. So stay tuned guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> so no much adventure and if you've not subscribed make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on that bell like we are almost getting to 1k subscribers and i'm like happy like seriously this community is getting so big and i'm happy for you guys thanks for always sticking with me so let's go straight into the topic i said we're going to be discussing if beards is actually going to be a problem during your evaluation exams and guys uh i'm going to tell you that for everything, modesty and a good presentation is very important. For everything, especially when you want to create a first impression. And you know, there's this adage that they say, first impression lasts longer. First impression is going to say, is automatically going to tell who you are. It's not, most of the time it's not true because at the time people meet you first sometimes maybe you're not arranged sometimes maybe you're not in a good mood or things might not be working well with you and you just claim something and the person gets that perspective of you but sometimes it might not be true but majority of the times first impression actually leaves a lasting and long impression about you 
so guys concerning taking or concerning keeping beards concerning keeping beards i'm going to say that if you're a guy and you have beards obviously most ladies don't have beards so if you're a guy which guys that have beards and you have beards please shave properly it depends on you i don't want you to have the mindset that wow why will i shave my beards like for goodness sake just one exam i want to come for and i will not shave my beards beards i've been keeping since and all those things you need to consider what's more important to you i'm going to be sincere with you about that if you think keeping the beards is more important than getting your admission good and fine if you think keeping the beards will not fit you into a tight corner as per putting you in a box whereby you okay is it dicey will, because of this will i have will I, if your mind is not okay if your mind is already telling you from now on that kai these beards i'm keeping my not my make them see me somehow or might not make me look presentable please i will advise you shave your beards because first of all imagine your mind is already talking to you that's the first thing you have your conscience your composure everything and don't forget there is mark for your appearance your interview is going to i think it's an average of like 20 marks as at the time i did that's what they told us and i think now that's the same thing that's still happening and out of that 20 marks your dressing i'm still going to come into dressing but i just want to talk about this your dressing is about five i think your dressing is about five marks your composure is five marks and the questions you answer is going to be 10 marks so if your dressing already you've lost five marks and don't forget your dressing there's a particular way you dress you're confident about yourself and there's a way you dress you're less confident about yourself if your mind is already telling you that kai this beard is like i'm going to have an issue with it and you're still you know you're trying to form that you want to cover it up it will still show because you will not have that confidence you're already thinking kai we didn't complain about my beards we did not complain about my beards and that like i'm saying you need to consider what's more important to you getting the admission keeping your beards if you're comfortable with it if you're not comfortable with it so that's my general answer for that i'm not going to tell you that in this place maybe because i don't know people that are going to be in the panel or people that are going to meet you first people that are going to judge you first i don't know but just know that the first impression is going to leave a lasting impression and if perhaps they don't see you coordinated, they don't see you confident with yourself, they don't see that this person is neat, this person looks okay, like a, like a candidate we can recommend to be given admission into this school, sincerely, you might lose it. But like I always say, I don't like to be at the negative part of the line. I don't have like to say, no, you will not get it if you keep it. No, you will get it and all those things. I don't want to be at that part. So I'm just going to tell you, you know yourself, you know how you feel, you know if you're confident with what you're doing, you know if it's okay, so as your mind has told you to do you can just go with it the next thing i would like to talk about is about dressing and it's always advisable to dress corporate in fact they are going to tell you when you're coming for your interview dress corporate but if peradventure they don't tell you please dress corporate dress make sure in fact when i listed are uh, the things that you should carry as your packing your traveling bag i talked about it the shoe carry your shoe even if it's a shoe you're going to wear throughout the day but it's going to help you dress corporate please carry that kind of wear so now dress corporate look presentable that's that's something that is very important i don't know how to emphasize on that if that's the only clue you have if that's the best way you think just imagine yourself you're going for it just imagine that you are going for a job interview that's how i want you to see it because this is your life this is your dream this is what you've wished for this is what you don't invest a lot of things into this plus the money you you pay for you're going to be paying for medicals plus the money you've already paid for the form plus the stress of traveling and everything and the only thing that now disqualifies you is your dressing or they don't see you as a candidate that can be recommended then that is not 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 going to be fine so guys please my candid advice for you is that you dress corporate if you think you're comfortable with your beards fine if you think your beards are going to put you into trouble please shave it but major look modest look presentable don't overdo anything you're not it's not like you're coming to please anybody it's not like you're coming to but you're coming to show that at least you 
you are meeting a requirement and i always say the competition is high that's the truth the competition is high because the school is cheap to it to an extent compared to other schools and a lot of people are seeing benefits in aviation i said it in the last video and i'm still saying it now so the competition is still going it's still high so i want you to put yourself at a point where guy if they want to disqualify people if they want to they will not find you wanting so guys i will always wish you the best and we want to keep going higher and higher in this aviation you know i the way i share my success stories with you the way i tell you my challenges the way i tell you what i've passed through i also want to hear from you and hear that okay i've gotten this thing this is the level i've moved on to this is where i'm going next it gives me joy to hear your success stories i always tell my friends it's good news and good news alone we want to be hearing that doesn't mean challenges not come that doesn't mean bad things might not come along but you know since we are focused on hearing the good news god will always bring the good, good news to us so guys keep flying high keep putting your best keep preparing and make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up because i know that this information is very very important to you <laughs> so guys to meet next time even on the same channel keep watching present and the tv bye guys Love